Hi. Yo, how's it going everyone? It's me, it's Conchinsula. I hope you're having a good day and welcome to today's Pokemon Go discussion video. All right, so today I wanted to talk about what I believe is the biggest problem with Pokemon Go right now. A lot of people are saying that there are many reasons why this game is in a drastic decline, and most of those reasons are pretty valid. Like people are saying it's the remote raid pass nerf from last year, other people are saying it's because of the features that Niantic has been releasing as of late, that the game is a buggy mess, and there's just no reason for you to play because a lot of the content has gotten stale over time. Yes, all of that is valid. There are several reasons why Pokemon Go has been in a decline, but I think the biggest reason is simply put, there is a lack of Pokemon releases in this game. Every year since Pokemon Go first came out, there has been less and less Pokemon released every year. And I totally understand why, because the number of Pokemon that are available from the franchise are severely limited. We're getting very close to catching up to the mainstream games. There's eventually going to be a point where there's no more new Pokemon that they could release, and we have to wait until the Pokemon Company releases a new generation of Pokemon. But regardless, I still feel like the lack of Pokemon releases and the lack of shiny releases is the reason why a lot of players are starting to feel very bored with Pokemon Go. Let me put it to you this way. In 2016, we of course had the entirety of the Kanto Pokedex released into Pokemon Go, that means about 150 Pokemon, or I think it was around 151 Pokemon. And then every year after that, we've seen hundreds of Pokemon released into the game until very recently. In 2017, 170 new Pokemon species were released into the game, with 195 distinct regular forms and 14 shiny forms being made available. And then in 2018, 119 new Pokemon species were released into the game, with 147 distinct regular forms and 133 shiny forms being made available. In 2019, 100 new Pokemon species were released into the game, with 115 distinct regular forms and 201 shiny forms being released. In 2020, we got 113 new Pokemon species released, and then 129 distinct regular forms, 9 Mega Evolutions, and 138 shiny forms being made available. And then in 2021 is when we start to see a decline in the number of Pokemon that were released. We only saw 48 new Pokemon species get released into the game, with 74 distinct regular forms, 8 Mega Evolutions, and 99 Shiny forms being made available. In 2022, we only saw 76 new Pokemon species, with 125 distinct regular forms, 12 Mega Evolutions, and 149 Shiny forms. And then last year, in 2023, we only saw 56 new Pokemon species, 61 distinct regular forms, 11 Mega and Primal forms, and 119 shiny forms being made available. But here's the thing, so far in 2024, we're only seeing maybe a very small handful of Pokemon get released into the game. And I think this is the main reason why Pokemon Go has felt very stale over the past couple of years. There's not a new Pokemon for you to look forward to getting, and it seems like with every in-game event, they've kind of fallen away from the pattern of releasing either a new Shiny or a new Pokedex entry or both. And this is definitely why a lot of people are starting to fall away from the game, because with every single in-game event, they're starting to blend together. A lot of the event spawns are all old Pokemon, and I think players are not necessarily getting excited about it. Even if there is a meta-relevant Pokemon, I feel like players just simply do not care. A couple of events ago, we had an event that featured a lot of Beldum spawns, and Beldum is a very relevant Pokemon but players just simply did not play. And I really think this is something Niantic needs to understand, that when it comes to Pokemon Go, it's the Pokemon that drives this game. But like I said at the top of this video, there is a limited number of Pokemon that Niantic could release. And that is simply because the Pokemon company is not releasing new generations every year. But at the same time, I think there's a lot of creative solutions that Niantic could come up with. For example, they had a Pokemon that they made almost specifically for Pokemon Go. 
and that is of course Meltan. I really like the idea of them doing more stuff like that. Maybe they could work with the Pokemon company to create some Pokemon that would be released exclusively to Pokemon Go. I think it could make Pokemon Go very distinct compared to the rest of the Pokemon franchise, and it could also create a sense that Pokemon Go is a game that does impact the franchise as a whole because certain Pokemon originated from that game. I've certainly talked about this in the past, but I really do not know why Niantic has never considered it. I think it would be a great idea, and it would certainly generate a lot of excitement with Pokemon Go. A lot of people who do not play Pokemon Go would suddenly be interested in the game because they want to catch these specific exclusive Pokemon to use in the mainstream games. They would trade it to Pokemon Home, and then from Pokemon Home, they could trade it to their console games. I think that's a great solution, and it's something that I really hope Niantic considers in the future. And of course, another solution is shiny releases. I do not understand why that they haven't been releasing shinies into the game. There are so many species of Pokemon that still do not have their shiny forms in Pokemon Go. I think drip feeding them into the game is not necessarily the right move. They should be releasing a lot more shinies and a lot more frequently. I mean, at the very least, it looks like they're going back to releasing shinies through community days, which I've always liked because community days are a great way for you to generate a lot of hype around Pokemon Go, and the best way you could do that is by introducing a brand new shiny through those events. And yeah, I hope Niantic continues doing that, but when it comes to a lot of the in-game events that Niantic is throwing, they should also be releasing shinies through those events as well. Take for example, this most recent sustainability week typically had a shiny release for a trash or fungus Pokemon, and Niantic did not do that this year. In fact, this year's Sustainability Week is often considered the worst one we've had so far. Even though some of the event-specific Pokemon were relatively the same from previous Sustainability Weeks, because they did not release a new Pokemon or a new Shiny, a lot of people were seeing it as an extremely lame event. So yeah, I think the best solution to Pokemon Go's decline as of late is going to be releasing new Pokemon as well as shiny Pokemon in a much more frequent rate. No matter how you spin it, that's going to be the absolute best solution. I mean, Pokemon Go is incredibly stale right now. You have major content creators talking about how stale the game has gotten, and I do think there's going to be an influx of players leaving the game really soon. And if Niantic doesn't do anything about it, then yeah, the game is going to fall off if it hasn't done so already. Releasing a bunch of new features is cool and it's definitely going to generate some hype, but it's not enough. It's going to come down to how many Pokemon they release as well as how many Shinies they release because it's a simple fact. The more Pokemon that they add into Pokemon Go, the more diverse the Go Battle League is going to be, the more players are going to want to go out and collect and of course, it's just going to be another way for players to feel engaged with Pokemon Go. There's always going to be players who want to get maxed out Pokedex entries, and in order for them to do that, well, they need to release Pokemon so that they could fill out their Pokedexes. And yeah, that's something I really hope Niantic does a lot more of for the foreseeable future, because I really do not like the fact that Pokemon Go has been getting more and more stale over time, the in-game events are getting a lot more lame, and a lot of the landmark events like GoTour and GoFest are starting to lose their luster. Yeah, this year's Pokemon GoFest is going to feature the debut of Necrozma, but aside from that, I really do not think there's much being added into the game before that, and I think that's a major problem. I hope Niantic ends up seeing this video, or at least they get the message across. We need more Pokemon and more Shinies in Pokemon Go. That's going to revitalize this game and get players excited again, and I really do hope we start seeing more new Pokemon in Pokemon Go really soon. But yeah, that's going to be it for this video. Let me know your thoughts regarding everything that I talked about down below. Do you want to see new Pokemon get added into Pokemon Go? What particular Pokemon would you like to see get added that hasn't been released yet? Make sure you share all of that in the comments and let's have a great discussion. And thank you so much for making it to this point in the video. If you ended up enjoying it, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe if it's your first time here. And also don't forget that little bell so you can stay up to date on whenever I upload videos. And I want to give a quick shout out to all of my patrons on Patreon. You all make this channel content possible. If you want to support the Conscience Slow channel, the absolute best way you could do so is by clicking on the links in the description below. 
One of them will take you to my Patreon page, and if you become a paid Patreon member, you get a permanent spot on my in-game Pokemon Go friends list. So when it comes to remote raid invites, as well as the friendship system, if you want to interact with me, then make sure you go and check out my Patreon. And if you want to support my channel in a non-patron way, you could do so by following me on social media. That's completely free, and all you have to do is go to the platforms that you see on screen, follow me at Count Jinsula, and let's interact together in those platforms. But yeah, that's going to be it for this video. I am Count Jinsula. Be safe, have fun, love yourself, and I'll catch you all later. Say bye, Freddy. Say bye. Bye. It's my real life Pokemon right here. Ha, 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 ha.